I had a horrible realization today. A few weeks ago, I had a heart attack, died and defibbed back to life. I'm lucky to be alive but not through any efforts of my workplace. My heart now pumps 25 of the blood when a normal person pumps 60 of their blood. I'm tired all of the time and need a nap after every meal. Cardiologist says I should have three months of rest. My doctor says I should have three months of rest. HR thinks I should already be back in the office. They want super detailed paperwork about my condition and expect me to be ready for work after one month maximum. My current paperwork says I can't push, pull, lift or carry and since I do office work, that shouldn't interfere with my job. The company nurse had a stint installed on a Wednesday and was back to work on Monday so that's what they are basing my return on. He didn't die or suffer heart damage he just had the stint installed. In the US, we have the Family Medical Leave Act FMLA which allows us to take 12 weeks of unpaid time to recover from a heart attack or other problem. I was reading through the documentation when I realized something. The company doesn't have to pay me. They could but they won't. Companies say they care about you but the moment you're broken they are ready to ignore dump you. Fuck American greed. I'm applying for short-term disability but I'm waiting on better paperwork. Something that reads, no work or stress of any sort. In the meanwhile, I'm a living off of my savings and have maxed out my out-of-pocket medical expense so I'm okay financially. Also, HR wants all of my paperwork but when they denied my disability claim, they had the company nurse call me. No paperwork from them so I told them that from now on, everything needs to be in writing. When HR asked why I only said two words. Legal reasons. Finally, I can't drive because I'm wearing a personal defibrillator. But because driving is not part of my job, work expects me to come into the office five days a week even though we've proven during COVID that I could do nearly all of my job from home. HR is not your friend. I had the almost the same experience with just a bit more asshole attitude from our. They actually sent me flowers while I was in intensive care and phoned me to tell me I could either voluntarily quit or they won't have to lay me off because I war. S going to miss too much work. Show back up to work and suffer a fall in the office. Contact a lawyer right afterwards. They really don't care much, do they? You should be able to focus on your health without any of this crap you're going through. I hope you'll get the rest and support you need. Take care. If you've given the doctor's notes, then that's it. If HR pushes, tell them you will have to talk to an attorney, then do so. Get well soon. My wife went through this FMLA bullshit last year. She had two forms of leukemia and effing HR was calling her to come back to work in the middle of chemo treatments. She couldn't so they let her go at the end of the 12 weeks. Luckily I could support us but always wondered what if I couldn't. HR is merely a collection of people who used to be hall monitors so they could exercise authority without having any skills or intelligence. They represent the company, not the employees and their root task is to fuck you over for the company. They are the lowest common denominator and I have more respect for the janitorial staff. I feel you, op, it is a bullshit parade all around. Here's my favorite part you're already hurting and up to your neck in the medical and insurance paperwork and process, and HR just swoops on in and adds to the burden. I finally snapped at my guys and told them to fill out every non-medical detail that you have at your fingertips regarding the company and my employment info, then send me the forms with flags for what you need from my medical team for completion. Goddamn slack ass dog fucking ghouls, to take an ill and or disabled person and pile on their heap of misery. That's terrible. I had an eye injury that required antibiotics hourly including during the night. My work was trying to get me to come in and was offering a taxi. I was a total mess for a few weeks because of sleep deprivation. I ended up getting to work from home but the funny part is they assigned a lot of reading materials lol I couldn't even look at a screen according to my doctors. Ended up doing nothing with pay. Shithole country. Here in Denmark, 
My doctor told me I was stressed three months ago. Have been out since with paid sick leave. The US truly is a third world country wearing a Gucci belt. Public healthcare can suck, but I just had a co-worker that was out for an entire month or more because he had a broken finger. One month paid. For a finger. We do office work. I'm in Mexico. You guys really should push because it's ridiculous that you had a heart attack and those heartless bastards can do that to you. I'm so sorry. Greatest country, my ass. HR exists to protect the company from you, not you from the company. Just reminded me of a guy that had a heart attack and died on the shop floor of a place I worked. They didn't even call the day off, just kept us working. It was pretty awful to walk out at the end of the day to see the guy's car still sitting in the lot. Glad you're alright. Sounds like a healthy capitalistic setup if you ask me. You are of no use to your employer, why would they waste time and resources seeing you back to health when they could just fire you for attendance reasons and hire someone else? In all seriousness, rest up and try not to stress about it. You need a break from stress now more than ever. Nurse that heart back up to speed and let the chips fall where they may. Life is precious. Also, HR wants all of my paperwork but when they denied my disability claim, they had the company nurse call me. No paperwork from them so I told them that from now on, everything needs to be in writing. When HR asked why I only said two words. Legal reasons. HR almost shit their pants when you said that, and I guarantee someone spent the afternoon trying to figure out if they had illegally fucked you over. HR is not the real problem. The actual problem is living in a country that gives zero fucks about workers and allows companies to do this stuff.